Well guys, welcome back. Today I have a video about processes. Now, we're going to just dive right into this. The first thing I want to show you is the sleep command, which is not related to processes, but it's just going to help me demonstrate how processes work. So, you type sleep, and then you type a number, and then it sleeps for, I think it's in millisecs, milliseconds, maybe it's seconds, I don't know. But basically, it just stops your computer. It sits there and does nothing for that many milliseconds slash seconds. Okay, so processes. So there's a process running right now. I can pause this. I can also cancel it. I can cancel this process by doing Control C. Um, I, I showed you that before. It just kills the program, right? I can run this again. I can also pause it with a Control Z. It gives me this little thing here, and then it does. Um, it stops it. It's um, just sitting, um, waiting for me to restart it. Now I have two choices right now. Um, I can either kill it. It's it's paused right now. I can kill it. I can resume it, or I can continue running it in the background. I'm gonna go through each one. The first thing I can do is um, what's known as foregrounding, and that brings it back and it starts running it again. Now, to see what processes you ha like have started, you want to do job, oops, jobs, and you can see we have one stopped job, sleep, and it has this one right here. To start things up uh, again, you would do foreground, um, and this starts it, at, uh, and then you give it which job you'd like to uh, start up, so the first one. And this will continue if we hit enter, and this will continue sleeping, and it'll just go on and on and on. Or I can control Z, pause it again, look at my jobs, I can kill it. Percent one. And it's dead. I just killed that guy. Another way to kill this, um, if I do sleep, and just to show you it's terminated, if we do jobs real quick, it's all empty. Um, if I sleep again, I pause it. Um, notice I can see now I have a stop job and pause. Um, you can also kill processes that you see doing in PS. So I see PS here. I have this little PID. So I can do kill 65571. And it kills the sleep. No jobs running. Um, and so remember how I was telling you how um, in other videos I did PS aux and I gripped for, say, uh, for example, Postgres um, uh, process. I then would get this process ID. And for example, I could just kill 65580 and it would kill the database uh, server. And sometimes you want to do that to turn things off. Um, so that's one way of doing it. So now you know how to resume, you know how to pause a uh, process. So sleep, one, two, three, control Z pauses it. I can then resume it using foreground and doing percent one, getting that first one with jobs. Um, I can also kill it by doing percent one, and it'll just die and it'll be gone forever. The third thing is background, and this turns it on in the background. So if I do BG percent one, notice it says it's sleeping, and wow, look, notice I can do LS, I can clear this, I can click jobs, I can see it's running. It's running in the background asynchronously. Um, it's just going on. And doing its thing. Now, if I wanted to, I could foreground this. Um, and what this does is it brings it to the front. Um, same thing as resume. I hit enter, and notice it's now sleeping my computer right here. I can pause it again, and I can go through that process again. I can just kill it if I want. But notice with this background, I just have it running, and I don't have to worry about it. It's just doing its thing. Um, what's really cool about that is you can do that with any program. You don't have to pause it first. Um, so for example, I could do sleep, one, two, three, four, and I could do an ampersand at the end and hit enter. Notice I'm good. I do ls, I do jobs, I can see it running, and I can do my thing. Um, I can do whatever I want now. And this is just running in the background. And now I can foreground it if I want, doing percent one. I can pause it with control z. I can now background it. Um, it's continue running again and doing different stuff, or I just want to get rid of it, kill it. But notice uh, when I type the command, um, sleep one two, all I had to do is to start running in the background was this ampersand. Doing the ampersand at the end of the command 
runs it in the background. That is an important one. I use that quite a bit. I don't use foreground and background too much. Most of the time what I'll do is I'll start something in the background and then I'll kill it later or maybe I'll foreground it to see it. Um, and jobs is pretty important to be able to see what you have going on there. So for the most part what I'll do is for example maybe I'll start a Python program or a server of some sort and then I'll do like for example if you're familiar with NPM doing NPM start a lot of times when you're working with web development you'll start a server and I'll start it in the background and then whenever I'm done I will then just go kill that. Um, this allows me to keep this here or sometimes I'll just open a new terminal tab and let it run. But basically this is very nice to have multiple processes like I can do sleep 123 and I can do sleep 124 whatever and you can just kick off a bunch of these things um, and we can see the jobs and we can just kill them if we want and that's pretty nice um, kill the first one jobs and now we can kill the second one and the third one no processes go to jobs those are all dead so that's how processes work in jobs you can kill them foreground background them um, and let them just run and they're really nice so I hope that helps and you start running stuff in the background because it really does help.